It's an exciting day. Overnight delivery really was overnight delivery. I got my weather pack crimpers now, and so we were able to get this ignition, uh, 12 volt ignition power uh, terminal put on. And this is the last electrical connection that we're hooking up into this fuse box. So let's get a little satisfying click. Uh, and we're gonna mount this fuse box probably right about there. So I'm gonna get some self tappers and get that hooked up. And then it's time to start Steve. First thing we gotta do is connect the battery and check the voltage to the ECU connectors and make sure that we have good voltage there. If we have good voltage there, disconnect the battery. Then we plug this into the ECU and we try to start Steve. And this is a big time. I'm excited. I, I can't wait. Let's, let's get this fuse box on there. I, I'm chomping at the bit. All right, we got the very last connections we're gonna connect. Uh, I'm gonna connect these into the computer. Uh, this is a very stressful moment because I don't wanna bend any pens or do anything wrong at this point. So here we go. Don't touch the wire. They're in there. All right, those are in there. Last thing to do is try to start Steve. Fingers crossed. Say a prayer for us. Okay, this is stressful. <laughs> We're gonna turn it on, make sure the fuel pump's working. I'm in neutral, clutch in. I hear fuel pump, it turned off. Lights on. Let's check for fuel leaks real quick. I don't see any leaks. Let's try to start old, old Steve. Here we go. All right, we're gonna check, make sure there's fuel. Watch your thing, second time looking. Fuel pump. All right, it's a new day. Uh, we didn't uh, start Steve uh, the first time. Partly because I'm an idiot. Uh, you have these injector uh, connectors and you see how they have these two clips here and then it comes off like that. I only had them sitting on there like that. So I don't think these connectors were connected all the way. And then when I looked down the throttle body, I saw some of the silicone that we piled up and it concerned me a little bit, so we called Troy at Howl TBI, uh, EFI, whatever they are. Uh, Troy is cool. Uh, he said, don't worry about it. Can't really hurt the engine, so if you run across that problem, don't sweat, because I panicked a little bit, and that's why I got a little heated last night, and I just had to walk away. I wanted a couple answers to questions. So now that we have both of these on there tight, I'm gonna put this back together and we're gonna try and start Steve one more time. And I think it's gonna go. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, no, who knows? Let's find out. All right, here we go. We're, I guess this is take number three, third time lucky. I uh, just heard the fuel pump kick on. I know there's fuel going to the TBI. I know they're connected now. Uh, they're neutral. Starts.
All right, we did it. Steve started. Uh, he, the, uh, the computer has to learn some things, so uh, we have to check timing. There's some other things that we got to do, but Steve started. Once we get him dialed in, get this wiring harness dialed in, we're gonna take him for a ride. So uh, I'm kind of stoked. I this was a huge project. We still got a lot more stuff to do. Like you can see the the smoke burning off of the mm, new exhaust manifold smell. I love that in the morning. But uh, we're excited. Steve started. It was those clips. Um, I don't know what else to say for right now. So we put this uh, exhaust tube on. It connects the exhaust manifold right there. Uh, it hits the transmission right here. So I'm just gonna take my rounding hammer and uh, I'm gonna do a little clearancing. I think that's gonna do it. I'm not gonna go too far. I just need a little dimple right there and I don't think that's gonna affect the flow or anything. All right, we got Steve started the other night. We were like really excited. Uh, and then the next day, we thought we'd take Steve for a drive and it didn't go so well. We got Steve out of the driveway and down the hill and he died about a block away. And Dave had to come and help us uh, drag Steve up with Rhino and get him back into the garage. It was a crazy event. Three of us pushing Steve uphill to get him back in this garage. Uh, so today we're uh, we're gonna try to be a little smarter. Uh, we didn't advance the timing uh, in the instructions. They say advance the timing of uh, uh, six to eight degrees. So we've done that now. Since then, um, we're gonna start Steve up, let him run for a while, probably about five or ten minutes. And then we're going to try to go for a little baby ride. Um, and hopefully he'll work a little better than he did the other night. Um, he should. The timing should be advanced. Uh, we've done some tests. Let him idle for a while. And he ran real good. Idled where he's supposed to be idling. So uh, we're going to open the door and get him fired up. Let's hear him go.
we did it. I think we did it. I think the computer's got a lot to learn. Well, that was a really successful test ride. Steve didn't die. He just seemed to want to run better the more we drove him. Uh, next step, we're going to drive him tomorrow to an exhaust shop and get the rest of the exhaust kit put on so he'll sound a lot better. Uh, and then it's just getting him buttoned up and cleaned up so we can get him on the road, get new tires, and get license plates so we can drive him every day. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Jeffy's barking in the backyard. Uh, we're going to go inside and have some lunch. <laughs>